Yeah, I can. It's, it's really not to represent dairy farmers, it's to represent the dairy industry. So the idea being that the dairy industry is a vertical industry which, which has farmers as a part and the milk vendors and the processors, you know, as, as a unified organisation. So it's rather different than the, than the sort of just represent the farmers model. It's, it's to represent a whole industry. And this is the real idea behind the idea of Dairy Connect is that we, we pull it out of a farmer representative body, which has been New South Wales farmers, and put it back to probably what it was pre-deregulation under the old DFA. So that was a very vertical organisation, but after deregulation, it you know, all got pulled apart and it went into New South Wales farmers. So over the last 12 years, um, the, New South, the, the dairy farmers of New South Wales have decided to go back to the way it was, go back to the future, and, and rebuild it in, a, in according to an old model, but a model that works and it's worked in other industries so it's worked in cotton for example i'm from cotton but also rice and a range of other successful advocacy bodies have advocated as a vertical industry the challenge then of course is to remain connected with the rest of agriculture and i think that's really important so we need to maintain a relationship with the what i would call in this instance a horizontal organization such as the new south wales farmers where they represent many 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 rural industries at the moment you're urging dairy farmers particularly and, and other industry representatives to join up to Dairy Connect. Um, uh, what's the cost to individuals of doing this and what do you foreshadow as being the benefits? Well, the costs vary. So the milk vendors pay a small fee, the farmers pay a fee and the processors pay a fee according to, what, uh, according to their size. The, pr the farmer cost is about $50 a month plus GST. Um, about $600 a year and we will review that in the next year once we get members on and, and that's sort of up to the members then really what services they want and how much they think that they should pay for that. So in the formative stage we've just sort of had to pick a number and that's a probably around 60% of what they were paying at New South Wales Farmers but New South Wales Farmers offered a different range of services. So Dairy Connect isn't going to be a sort of services support organisation. We're not a membership services organisation where we can get you a good deal on your quad bike. Um, we, we, we are really only about advocacy. So we're really only about representing the industry to the public and to the government and to the market. What are the big challenges um, uh, facing dairy producers and, and milk vendors and, and the whole industry, if you like? We have to provide a, an opportunity for those dairy farmers that remain to grow. We have to let their businesses get bigger. We have to have fine space for, for that to happen. So one of our main drivers is that, is that the farmer's business can grow. So that means we need a bigger milk market. And one of the big drivers at Dairy Connect is how do we find a bigger milk market? How do we develop a new market for fresh New South Wales milk? And obviously that's in Asia and places like that where we can, uh, we can earn new markets in a suddenly growing and burgeoning market that's suddenly getting wealthy and suddenly getting quite selective and choosy about their own health and the food and that relationship between you know nutrition and health and agriculture it's a sort of triangle of of opportunity is is really becoming quite current in asia as their socio demographics rise do you see the asia market advocacy as a role for dairy connect new south wales yes yeah we, we've got to help build that market um it's not a market that, it's not an activity where we actually sell the milk. All we want to do is facilitate our members to be able to get their milk up into that fresh market. <laughs>